just a short video to explain the terrain ability of a MUP with and without oscillating axle feature. We've got a couple of MUPs here where we're going to show how we can drive up a ramp or an undulating surface with the oscillating axle actually working. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to disconnect the oscillating axle and you'll see how the machine struggles without oscillating axle for this terrain ability. You'll see the differences. Fully drilled, the wheel's not spinning. Oscillating axle enabled, uh, even though the ramp's a bit steep there, you can still see how it was able to terrain up that steep slope relatively easily because the axle is floating, allowing all four wheels to stay on the ground and all four wheel motors to do their work and climb that gradient. Okay, now we're going to disconnect and you'll see the difference when the oscillating axle is disabled. an example we disconnected the oscillating axle so we're driving up undulated surface and you can see that because there's no oscillating axle all four drive motors aren't able to do, to do the work they need to do they're not on the ground properly they haven't got traction so we lose terrain ability because the axle's not floating helping us to keep all four wheels on the ground and allow the four wheel drive to do its work this is why we have less terrain ability you saw that the new was unable to climb the ramp and it only got a little way up the ramp before it struggled because uh, we had wheels lifting off the ground. So with the this MUP, uh, the speed level 2684 uh, RT, um, similar thing. The ramp is a bit steep for the actual flotation, but you can see that it was still able to ter terrain up that undulating surface. Okay, and also, one thing which uh, we're not really demonstrating so much in this video, but we can show you that, is that the ride is actually smoother. So if I'm driving over a curve or rough ground, because the axle's floating, I get a much smoother ride. If the axle's locked out, the ride is much more harsh. So there's two benefits of oscillating axle. Increased terrain ability, and a smoother ride for the operator. So this example of oscillating axle and its features and, and how it adds terrain ability to a MUP. Uh, we use two MUPs as an example in this exercise. Uh, we use the speed level and the JLG 330 LRT. So the max speed level and the JLG 330 LRT. We did a forward and reverse just to see the similarity of with oscillating axle and with oscillating axle disenabled. And you can see there's a clear advantage in terrain ability um, of it climbing undulating services um, with 
isolating axle feature enabled. It can climb more rough ground, it has better terrain ability. And it's a key feature of rough terrain MUPS isolating axle feature. Plus, if I was driving over rough ground in a faster speed and I had you know, a lot of bumps and debris on the ground and, and maybe going over some dirt and sand, uh, I would have a much smoother and more controllable ride with oscillating axle because I wouldn't be bouncing around on the platform so much. So the operator has a better chance of controlling the mute correctly with oscillating axle feature when he's getting from point A to point B in a transport position. Okay, thank you.